Welcome back my friends. Rain cloud plots are an amazing tool for visualizing uncertainty in your data. This is a crucial thing to do because only reporting the mean can be very misleading. So this is how a rain cloud plot looks. Basically it's a combination of density charts, box plots and dot histograms. If you are unfamiliar with these things I have a link to one of my newsletter editions in the description of this video. There I describe all of these tools for visualizing uncertainty. For now though let me show you how to create such a chart and if you want to learn more about each component you can head over to my newsletter. So here I have already loaded the tidyverse as well as the GG disk package and I have extracted a couple of colors from the Okabe Ito color palette. I also named the color vector so that I always know which color corresponds to which penguin species from the Parma penguins data set because that is the data set that I will use to demonstrate how rain cloud plots work. Additionally I have created a title text which helps me to make the title that you see here with the colored words inside of it. If this doesn't mean anything to you I have a video that shows you how how you can color single words in your title using this exact strategy. There should be a notification popping up right now that can lead you to that video. You can either check it out now or you can do that later, the choice is yours. In any case, let's start with the plot. We start out by creating box plots for each penguin species in our data set. So we create a new code chunk, take our data set, filter out the missing values and then we pass this data to ggplot where we map x to the body weights of the penguins and the fill aesthetic to the species. Now we can use gmboxplot to create box plots and then we already have one third of the steps done for our rain cloud plot. Next we can throw in the dot histogram by using gm dots from the gg dist package. Unfortunately this doesn't look at all like what we need so let's fix this. First we're going to make sure that the dots stack downwards and then we're going to nudge the whole thing a little bit. But this still doesn't look right does it? And the one thing you need to know to fix this is that GM dots needs a Y aesthetic to work properly in this setting. And once you put it in it looks alright but the box plots are way too large. So we need to reduce its width to say 0.1. Nice, that's already two out of three parts done for our rain cloud plot. Before we put in the third part, let us fix the theme real quick because right now it doesn't look pretty at all. For starters, let us use the extra colors that we specified earlier and then we can remove a couple of labels on the X and Y axis. You see, we don't need to know that these are penguin species and we don't need to know that this corresponds to body weight because we put all of this information into the title. Right now the title is still not pretty but we'll fix that in a second. For now we apply a theme minimal, increasing the base size and changing the font family. Great, this is already starting to look better. Now let us make more changes to the theme like making sure that the title gets rendered nicely. Excellent, now the title tells us which color corresponds to which species. Again, if you're not familiar with this technique, check out the link that I recommend at the end of this video. Next, we can get rid of a couple of grid lines that are excessive and we can remove the legend. Woo, this is already a much nicer plot. Now we can put in the density chart. But before we do that, let me remind you to hit that like button to show me that you find this video useful. This helps me to create a lot more videos like this, so thank you for that and now let's finish this plot. The last step that we need is the stat slab layer. Out of the box, it already gives us the density plot, but they overlap with the box plots. So we're moving them up a little bit. Now there is no overlap with the box plots anymore, but there's still overlap with the histograms. So let's change the height in stat slab and we can also change the height in gm dot. Perfect, nothing is overlapping anymore and we have finished our rain cloud plot. You can find the code for this plot by heading to the description of this video. There a link will take you straight to a github repository. And if you want to learn more about ggplot then check out this video where I show you more details on how to colorize single words in your title to avoid having a huge legend. And if that's not your thing then check out this video next where I show you a super simple strategy to change the theme of your quarto files. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.